Intolerance is an issue. A lot of people will say, oh, you're being intolerant. You have to be tolerant. You have to be accepting. You have to be multicultural. You have to be understanding. Now, just wait before you stop this video because you think I'm going to come out accusing Islam. I'm not. A lot of you know that I've been critical of that religion. But I want to speak in a more broad fashion about intolerance in general. The only kind of intolerance that should be tolerated is intolerance of intolerance. Now, of course, you shouldn't tolerate injustice, but that's what I'm talking about. Whether it's religious or governmental or familial, part of family, intolerance, when it isn't intolerance of injustice, should be intolerable. So if you're defending something simply because you're a member of it, in other words, you defend national intolerance, some bad government policy which is discriminatory, or you support some religious intolerance because you're a member of that religion, or you support some political intolerance because you're a member of that political party, or you support intolerance because your father or mother or other guardian supports it. That's intolerable. That's wrong. And when you defend injustice like that, what you're doing is you're practicing identity politics. In other words, I'm a member of that group, so therefore I agree with what that group is doing. This is an embarrassing surrender of your consciousness, your honor, your integrity, your reason, your fairness, your compassion, your manhood, your womanhood. So, for example, if you're intolerant of solutions to climate change, which incorporate solutions you don't like, but which are sensible, reasonable, and necessary, like lessening the use of fossil fuels or banning them outright in favor of sustainable energy, and you defend the maintenance of that deleterious policy, maintaining the use and increasing the use of fossil fuels because you have money in fossil fuels or just because you like the kind of car you drive or you believe that we shouldn't use solar energy because you don't want to put co-workers you know, on the unemployment line where, by the way, they could get one of the millions of increasing number of jobs in the sustainable energy market, then you're really being unfair. You're being a member of the identity politics crowd. You're being senseless. You're being unreasonable. You're being intolerant of reason. So if you defend a policy because you're Christian, but that policy is not compassionate and it's intolerant of fairness and difference, you're wrong. If you defend a government leader because you like that government leader on other issues and on this issue that you're defending him on, he's obviously wrong. You're wrong. That's not the right way to be. We all have to have the courage to stand up for what's right, even when it means turning against a group that we're a part of because they're being lazy or they're being opportunistic. So don't be intolerant of reason. Don't be intolerant of fairness and justice. Don't be intolerant of criticizing a religion or a government when it's wrong. Be part of the criticism. Don't just say that's okay because I'm a member. That's despicable. That's not for progress. That's for breaking things down, which are good. Get it?